Hi guys, um, this is Greater Good here. Um, I know it's been quite a while since I've made my last tutorial. Um, I've been busy with my Xbox, so yeah. Um, I just thought I'd drop by a couple people um, who really wanted to remain anonymous, so I'm not going to say who they are. But they wanted to know how I've done some photo retouches. Um, so I thought I'd make a video and show you guys how. I'm in a bridge here. I'm just going to open up this one here in Photoshop down here. So um, this one, I this was one of the first retouches I did on the not this image uh, on this image though. Um, let's zoom this in. You can see there's some marks and stuff like that on the skin. Not too bad, but when I'm done, I'm hoping by the time this video, I hope it's not too long, but um, I'm hoping I might be able to show you guys how to, some of the techniques that I use to touch things up and make them look smooth and ni nice looking, basically. Um, going to go ahead and bring out my brush tool here. Um, just find a size that works for you. I guess I'll try 27. That should work. Basically, you're just going to... You want a soft brush, and you're going to go ahead and eye drop off of one of the skin colors in a fairly light area. And you're just going to go ahead and brush over everything, practically. Um, you could go more detailed and, you know, do a light color for the light areas and a darker color for the dark areas. I'm not going to worry worry about that too much. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and just try and do one side to show you guys. I'm trying to cut it down. Um, basically, that way you guys can see kind of what what it looks like to, um, start to finish. Um, I'll just do the face just for time reasons. Um, I'll drop a little bit in there. Just mainly, like, if you just want to keep some, most of, like, the the natural skin tone and everything, um, you can just go ahead and do it just basically where there's, where you need to. This can be adapted any way you need to. If you know enough about Photoshop, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of get a darker color here for in there and a smaller brush. Maybe, um, nine should work just because I want to cover up some of the wrinkles and stuff like that and it looks very rough I, I mean I know I know <laughs> um, but it's gonna look okay when it's done you'll see I'll just go over some of that and then as you can see I kind of covered up some hair there so you can go ahead and make a new layer for the hair and we'll just kind of bring in a white because we want the hair to look very white and basically what we're going to do is we're going to bring out all the colors and make them as colorful basically as we can so I'm just going to go ahead and bring in white all over the hair up here I'll just do kind of half about half and I won't go all the way out there for obvious time reasons but you'll see what, I, what I'm talking about when this is done here um... See, we'll cover up some of the hair and then um, put it on soft light. I did my thing there. There it goes. So, soft light, you can see how much of a difference that makes in the hair, how white it becomes from that to that. You can see that that's a big difference. And if you need to, you can change the tone a bit. You know, like you could um, either play with different colors, like a lighter color, or you could lower the opacity a bit and see that it gives it a more natural white instead of just like neon white um, we can check on what we've done here you can see how it's changed it a lot and if you see stuff that you don't like that you did you can always change it there's always room to change and improve because you could just go back in and erase some of it like I didn't like that eyebrow and around the eye very much 
So I'm just going to go ahead and erase some of that. But you can see from this side, if we zoom out a bit here, you can see there's a big difference already. And we can do a lot more. I'm going to show you a couple more things, like adding in some color. Um, <clears throat> we'll see what we can do to get you guys on the right track here. And that way you guys can adapt this to how you need it. Um, first of all, just find a color you want for the lips, and then just kind of just paint that over there. And it doesn't matter how well you paint it, because it'll look okay in the end. You could either just do the opacity, which kind of makes it look a little bit blurred, or you could just do like I'd usually do, like that, and see how that that adds, it makes it very red. Um, and I try to do separate layers, just so I know I can go back and delete a layer if I don't like it, like if I completely don't like it. Um, I'll just get a, a green, doesn't matter what color, really. Um, we'll just kind of plop that on there and see how much of a difference that changed right there. Just alone, like the eye, the eye color can change a lot. See, now, I mean, look at how how much it's changed. I mean, really. <laughs> and you can you can always do different color. You could even change the color of the eye if you wanted to. I mean, the the possibilities are pretty much endless with working with a background photo. You can do a lot. Um, I just thought I'd show you guys that. Also, on a side note, if you follow forums, web forums, you should go ahead and check out thetechvault.net. Um, it, I'll put a link in the sidebar. This is basically it right here. Um, yeah, we're trying to get some more members again. Um, you can check out the site for more details on why we don't have very many right now. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. And, by the way, if you don't feel that I've done it right, I don't really care. So just don't reply if you're going to reply with something stupid. So, yeah. Thanks, and bye.